Good morning, my name's Daniel Hargreaves. I'm a bat conservationist from the UK. I'm here with a team of conservationists and bat scientists from the UK, from Canada, and we also had some colleagues from the States, and we're researching bats in Costa Rica. And today we're at Perala Ecological Gardens, and at the moment we're looking at a roost of Honduran white bats, Ectophila alba. It's a small frugivore, eats figs. It's a tiny bat, it's about this size, a forearm of about 30 mil, weighs about five to eight grams. And they're one of several species that design their home. They're an architect. So they find often a leaf of heliconia like this one, and the bats bite along the midrib of the leaf, which means the leaf collapses down and they create a roost underneath. And they can stay there from up to a few days to a few weeks to a couple of months depending on how well that leaf survives. At the minute, there's five bats in here, and it's a small species. They breed twice a year normally, around April and around September. They will give birth to a single pup, but they can be quite a long-lived species. They can live seven, maybe to 10 years, 12 years, depending on the environment and the availability of food. Here in the gardens, it's really good because there's lots of ficus species, lots of fruit for these bats to eat, so they don't need to travel far to get the resource that they need.